Hey guys, Thunder E here and I've got the Galaxy S9 Plus just announced. So let's see what's inside the box. So we've got a traditional Samsung packaging, all black with a sleeve, it says 64 gigabytes, Galaxy S9 Plus. At the back, some more information about the device, what's inside in terms of package content, SIM ejector, that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead and uh, let's pull off our sleeve here. So we've got the sleeve, set it aside. Again, all black box packaging. I'm gonna lay it down flat for a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. All right, so let's do this. Pull the sleeve. We've got Galaxy S9 here. We've got a SIM removal tool. Um, we've got some more in instructions probably inside here, uh, which, you know, if you want to go through that, you can. And here is our S9 Plus right here. You can see me, my reflection. Boom, set that aside for a second. Let's see what else we have in this packaging. Pull this up. We've got our quick charger here. Uh, this is our adaptive fast charger. I don't think it's been updated, uh, but we'll see. We've got, of course, USB connector, so you can actually do data transfers between devices. What else do we have? Do we have headphones? Yes. We've got AKG, most likely tuned headphones. Um, these are nice braided he uh, headphones there. So that's actually pretty cool. I'll put that in as well. And then of course we've got a USB type C uh, to USB cable, because that has USB type C. And then we've got ear tips for the headphones. That is pretty much it. Let's uh, take a closer look at our device. All right, here is the device, the S9 Plus. Let's go ahead and peel that. I know some of you like to see that. There we go, that's out of the way. And of course, the back as well. And that's where you see one of the biggest changes on this device. Uh, just take this off. You don't need that on there. Oh, I'm glad that doesn't actually uh, stick to strong. So here's one of the biggest things you find with the device. The fingerprint sensor, of course, is now centrally located in the way. We've got the dual camera set up, and of course the top camera is the dual uh, focus camera, um, the dual aperture, sorry. I mean, just kinda zoom in there a little bit. You've got your flash, and you've also got your heart rate sensor. So we still have that there on this device. Now, as we look around, this the S9 Plus. If you take the S8 Plus and just kinda put them side by side, you can see what we're looking at here. I know it's, it's the black version, but you can definitely see the differences with the, the camera housing there at the back. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, power this bad boy on. We've got our Bigsby volume rocker, power button. Hit the power button. Let's see what we have for some startup sequence. Galaxy S9 Plus, secured by Knox, powered by Android. You know what's next, guys, wallpaper time. All right, so we have our Galaxy S9 Plus set up, as you can see, and we've got a brand new wallpaper. Gotta give a shout out to Royal Flush for the wallpaper. It is some dope stuff. You know where it's from, My Hero Academy. But taking a look at the device and using it quickly, it is smooth and fast. You've got that Snapdragon 845 processor in here. Uh, I can't wait to do some gaming on this device, looking at 30% GPU performance, but that also means that other things will be working pretty well and fast. But the big thing on this device, of course, is the camera. And uh, you know we've got a couple of things in the camera. First off the bat is the AR emoji. That too, you know, the, the Snapdragon 845 really does a lot of work to help a lot of camera processes. We've got that new Spectre ISP. What it does, it helps you create the AR emojis. And I'm gonna do a video showing you how you, you guys can actually set that up for yourself. Um, you've also got super slow-mo, um, 960 frames per second is super slow-mo. Regular slow-mo is 240. Um, sorry, I actually switched it to the front-facing camera, but you can see me here with the front-facing camera. We can still do the AR emoji. This will work here as well, which is actually uh, pretty nice. And uh, let's switch back to the rear camera. We've got auto, we've got live focus. Oh, man, I am switching. What is my problem? Okay, we've got live focus, so we can go ahead and take an image in live focus and do that. Um, we've got a pro mode. And the one thing about this camera, again, like I said, the f-stop is what you can change. So we've got the, you can see that there, that's f-stop stop of 1.5, 1 you can type that to 2.4, 1.5. It's a lot light now, so you won't see, the, see it quite well, but 
it will actually change the aperture to make it wider so you can take better photos. Um, you've got panorama, you've got food, and then you've got, if you go into the main camera settings here, a bunch of things here. The one thing, of course, people want to know, 4K 60 frames per second is right there on this, so it will record that for you. And uh, you can also record in HEVC uh, if you want to high efficient video, so that format is there to be selected. Uh, you've got your edge screen, which I haven't set up, um, and uh, Bixby, which we'll go through as well and set up, but so far so good. Um, it, it looks pretty snappy and, uh, and fast. Uh, again, this has wireless charging, fast charging, all that stuff. We'll take a better look at this device uh, as we go through. Stay tuned for our review, comparisons, more videos. And if you have any questions or anything you want us to take a look at, let us know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.